So the recovery system for the Star Trooper rocket, you can see I have this Kevlar cord with this loop on the end. And I like to have my recovery system completely separate from the rocket. This way I can change the recovery system, make longer, shorter cords, do various things. So it's important to have a loop here as a connecting point. Um, but the, the recovery cord now has a large loop in the end, like this. The other end is tied to the nose cone. The cord is about uh, five feet long. And this cord needs to be fairly long because when this shoots out, it's going to unwind. And we need a little bit of time to slow the nose cone down. Kevlar is not elastic, so if you don't have uh, any elasticity, it's going to put a really hard yank on this. Uh, this part here, I wrapped it around three or four times and added a little bit of CA glue to lock everything down. And to attach this, it's really, really easy. Notice this loop is big enough to pass the nose cone through very easily. So in order to connect this to the rocket, I just simply put this through this loop here. Take the nose cone, pass it through. And there we go. Now notice it's a lot easier to attach a recovery system using a knot. And Kevlar is very, very strong. And this knot works really, really nice. You can also pull this apart really easily. It's just this very simple knot. Um, the nice thing about this is that you don't have swivels, swivels of clips. Clips are metal. You don't want pieces of metal shooting out with your ejection. Um, you never know what's going to happen if the rocket is not unstable, what's going to happen to that. So this is what I've done. And you can see now this is a very simple solution. I've got the nose cone, about a five foot length of Kevlar cord, and I just simply tied it onto the rocket with a very simple knot. And after this, we are going to mount the streamer.